Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sajin here. Uh, 2021 has been an interesting year. Um, I'm feeling cute, by the way. I decided to go without a hat because uh, I just got a haircut fairly recently. Um, but yeah, 2021 has been an interesting year uh, for games. Um, and this time I, I want to talk about not Nintendo or Sony games. Um, but uh, I've... Uh, I've, I've become a little disillusioned with controllers lately, and I've uh, been exploring some other avenues. Um, the Nintendo and Sony controllers lately, I don't know what the deal is, but they just kind of forgot how to make good controllers this generation. I don't know about you, because uh, we're, we're having so many controller drift issues uh, for the Switch Joy-Cons, as well as those ni really nice PS5 controllers, which would be really awesome and cool if it weren't for that drift. Uh, one thing I have not heard a lot of that about, and so I've only heard good things about, are the Xbox controllers. And while I'm not, um, I'm not personally an Xbox gamer myself. Um, I mean, I've, what I've always said in response to like, why aren't you getting an Xbox or anything like that, is uh, the the opinion of I do have an Xbox, and it's called my gaming computer. They're basically the same thing. Um, and along that line, uh, I. When I do play, uh, or when I do use a controller for PC games, because I am quite a PC gamer, um, I have been using Xbox controllers lately. Um, the generation that I had before, uh, was, well, first I had an Xbox 360 ripoff one, because um, I couldn't afford an actual one at the time, because uh, controllers are expensive, believe you me. And... Um, when I when I did acquire the funds, or when I felt like doing it, I, I did grab a uh, wired... Well, it works either way. I, I did grab a Xbox One controller, which uh, I, I had tested out in a store once and didn't really like it, but I've I've actually come to like it quite a lot. Um, there, there are a lot of things about it, and a, a, for a, a controller that's made for Xbox and for PC gaming, it, it does what it's intended to do, and it's... It served me well, um, but as everyone knows, uh, Christmas is coming up, and I decided to treat myself to a little something. Uh, the Xbox website has a design lab, uh, as I'm sure you know, where you can design your own controller and get it shipped to you. And uh, so, I did that, and my new controller just showed up not too long ago. But before I get to that, um, I do have a couple of controllers here for comparison, because I do want to go a little in-depth with this here. Uh, let me center this camera a little better on what I have here. Uh, so first off, this is the controller I have been using. This is an Xbox One controller, uh, controller and cable for Windows, as you'll see there. Uh, and it is just... Um, it's nothing too fancy here. It is it is a standard black, but I've I've grown to like this controller quite a bit. Um, I, I love how the, the buttons, the sticks, and especially these triggers feel. Like, these are really nice, if I can focus correctly on the camera here. I, I, I really like how everything feels here. The D-pad is a little simple, but it's it's a D-pad. It works. Um, one thing I do or I really do like in the design of this controller, and it's a really simple thing, um, is I like this bevel, or this indentation that they have around uh, this Xbox logo. Um, and I, I saw the pictures for, uh, what they have for the new controllers now, because they are pretty much just, um, they're basically the Xbox series controllers now. And I saw that they got rid of that. And that's, that's a bit of a downer because, uh, they, they look a little plain up top without that. I, I really like the design of this controller and it, it does feel really good. Um, as you can maybe see, there's a little bit of grease and stuff on it, but it's, it, it still works just fine. And, uh, it's. It's not entirely a late gen one because I know pretty late gen they had the elite ones and they swapped out the D-pad for other stuff. So it, but it's it's recent enough that uh, the grip here has a little bit of a, a texture to it, so it, the grip is a little better. So it's not like an original Xbox One controller. It's it's a little later than that. And then I another thing I've been fooling around with aside from uh, Sony, Nintendo, and even PC gaming is I've actually been messing around with Amazon Luna. I have a uh, Luna controller here because they're supposed to reduce the input lag here. That's actually been pretty dusty. That isn't a good show for what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, this Luna controller is pretty interesting. Um, 
the color scheme is really dark and blue. It's almost like a, a steam controller kind of vibe aside from the purple, obviously. Um, but I, in your hand, it just doesn't quite feel as good as the Xbox controller does. The shape of everything is kind of weird. Um, the, the grips down here are a little more they They feel a little more like a PS five controller, I guess I would say, and how they're different from everything else. Um, and additionally, this just like juts out in the back here and it, it kind of doesn't feel right. Um, and this D pad is big and a little stiff. Uh, these sticks are nice. Uh, the buttons are okay. And, uh, these are kind of just okay here, but it is USB C. Um, I have meant to fool around with this for PC cause it does have the option for that, but I haven't really gotten around to it again. Not really much point if I have an actual Xbox controller. Um, but so those are here for comparison. Um, and so now we're going to get to the real thing here. Okay. Okay. And so we've got it in this very nice subtle box here because so, they don't want to print one for each individual customization option. And so this is wireless controller. Uh, it just comes with two AA batteries, so no cords or anything, which is kind of a disappointment, but I had to do something special to get a cord to come with that Xbox controller. Um, I should mention that Xbox controller is an older USB-C. It's not USB-C like um, uh, the Luna controller and like this is going to be. Uh, so that, that was kind of another reason why I wanted to do an upgrade. Um, so we've got that. And uh, oh, let's check the back here. Wireless controller, and it says "Made with Xbox Design Lab" right there. In case any of you thought I was lying. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna open this up here. I'm gonna try to lean it in a way where you can see it as I open it. But it. Oh, oh, look at that. So I, I wanted to go for a brown because, a uh, fun fact, brown is my favorite color. Um, what they had was, I believe, desert tan is what they called this color. Uh, hopefully the lighting here in the video is kind to it. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty light tan, uh, almost a, a beige type color. I actually like it a lot here. Um, and then what I did, uh, it might be a little darker, so some something to tell, but I actually went with a dark blue on the sticks and dark blue on, let's take this out. And I have dark blue on the uh, triggers and stuff back here. And then as you can see, it has a white bottom. And uh, I decided to go with white on the buttons too, to help that match a little bit. And then the D pad and the buttons are a dark gray. And uh, oh, this feels this feels really nice actually. And there's the uh, USB-C right there. Uh, I'm gonna put this box down. You can see the batteries are in there, and that's about it. Just have that right there. That should be fine. But yeah, this feel this feels really good. It still has that same Xbox shape, which if it's not broken, don't fix it. Like why would you why would you worry about it if uh, the previous gen controller feels perfectly fine? Um. These triggers are bumpers. I, I forget which is which, actually. But these are... They're a lot smaller than the Xbox One controller, I feel like. Um, and maybe... Yeah, and maybe the these uh, uh, shoulder buttons at the top aren't as long. They also feel maybe a little cheaper, but it might just be... Uh, it might I might just be getting disillusioned by like the texture of it. Because, uh, here, let me bring this one out for comparison here. Yeah, let me do a side-by-side -side here real quick. Yeah, they seem to be the same length and width or whatever. But these, uh, oh, I guess they're... I'm sorry, I'm not angling this correctly. I They don't really seem that much smaller on the back. I think what's happening... Yeah, so that's what's happening. It's, it's tricking me because you see it's the Xbox One controller has a bit more of a lip with that trigger. Whereas this on the new controller, it's a little more straight. So they're, they're just tricking you with the size of that. Um, one thing I do like on this new controller though, is um, it's going to get really blurry as I zoom in, but they have a 
they have a nice uh, rugged texture on uh, the top of these buttons now. That's really nice. They have it a little bit on this button too, but it doesn't really make much sense because you're never going to touch it right there. At least I never do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, there still is very little resistance on them back there. They kind of just go in, and I, I do kind of like that about the controllers. Um, again, I feel this D-pad is going to take some getting used to because when I because I play on um. Nintendo and Sony consoles mainly, obviously, and I'm, I'm used to just the normal D-pad. Uh, and so that's all separated, and this is connected. It could be better for fighting games and stuff and doing, like, rolls with it. Um, again, it feels a little bit cheaper, but it might just be disillusionment with the different, uh, the different material or the different texture of how it feels. Um, I, I maybe should have gone with the more metallic feel for stuff because the D-pad on this at least has that, uh, not, re not really sure what word I'm looking for, but the really like shiny, yeah, that's a good angle for it. it it's got a real shine to it. And so it's like a different material and a different feel. And, uh, the shoulder back buttons are the same way too, how they have that. And these are all just matte finish and they're a different material and it feels different to me. So it, it could just be the disconnect with that. Um, I'm not really sure. I probably can't get anything out of the share button uh, on uh, just using on PC, which is mainly what I'm going to use this for. Um, and yeah, see how it's it's missing that bevel at the top and just kind of looks really plain and stupid up there. Whereas uh, this controller has that really nice bevel up there. And I, I really like that. Like why get rid of that and just leave a bunch of empty space? Like it's kind of silly to me, but I don't know. I don't design controllers aside from this, if this counts, but I also find it interesting that this plug is still here where it's used for like keypads and stuff like that, that you can plug in. Um, I've never really fooled with that too much myself. I, I did get a, uh, a keyboard for my PS4 controller one time, but, um, and I, I've seen similar stuff for Xbox controllers. I guess it's, um, another, uh, forwards compatibility thing, I guess, or backwards compatibility. So, if you have those accessories for Xbox One, you can continue to use them with this controller, which is fine. I mean, they what Xbox seems to be going for is a whole consolidated thing where they're basically the same and can use the same accessories, and that's cool. Um, if you have an Xbox Series, you it's very likely that you can use Xbox One controllers on it. Um, I don't know that for a fact myself, but it seems like the kind of thing that they would do and they're going for, and that's that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, and these buttons feel... A little different, but again, it could just be the material. Um, the A, B, X, Y are the same. Uh, they're, they're the exact same type of material and feel, so that's good. Um, and this grip, this, this textured grip here, I do want to talk about that. I, you're probably not going to be able to see any of it, but it's just more consistent than on the Xbox One controller, I feel like. And on the Xbox One here... Xbox One controller, I feel like it was more, some of it was, no, I, I guess it is the same. Hmm. I wonder if this is what the Xbox One controller felt like when I first got it, and I've just worn it down so much. But that's interesting. And then, of course, there's one thing I don't want to forget about here. Let me angle it so uh, the shadow of the stick doesn't get in the way. But I did opt in, splurge for the engraving. This, this webcam kind of sucks. I'm sorry about that. But you can maybe make out that it says Sajin GT right there. So this is officially the Sajin controller. I wish there were a little more customization options for the engraving. And uh, overall, with the design lab, there were some op other options I was expecting. Because, um, like, for, for example, for the ABXY buttons here, there was just the option of, like, one color scheme for, like, all of them. Uh, there was one where they were different colors, but there wasn't an option to say, oh, I want A to be one color and the other ones to be another color or anything like that. And I thought that would have been cool if you're trying to design like a, maybe an Xbox controller that looks like a GameCube controller or something like that, at least with the color scheme. Uh, I, I think I think like things like that could be a little more possible. Um, but overall, I had fun with it. Um, and so to, decided to treat myself here. I really do like the Desert Tan Brown. And uh, looking forward to uh, breaking this thing in. I do want to plug this into my computer over here real quick just to make sure it works because I obviously haven't done that yet. 
It did not come with its own cord. So what I've got here, um, oh, I knew it said it. Okay. What I have here is I have a Nintendo, a USB-C plug for one of the pro controllers. I'm going to see if that works. It has occurred to me that my computer also has a USB-C plug on it, and I did get a USB-C cord um, that is USB-C on both sides instead of uh, the normal USB plug on one end for um, my PS5 for those controllers. So I could try that as well. Um, but yeah, going to go ahead and plug this in here. Um, one thing I do want to mention beforehand, actually, uh, one thing I didn't like... Um, one thing I don't like about this old Xbox controller is they have, uh, they have this older USB-C or it's not USB-C. I keep saying that, I think. So they had this old USB here and it's on an angle so that when you plug it in, here's the, uh, the cord that it came with here. When you plug this controller in, you can see that it's not straight in there. Like it doesn't go, it, it purposely looks like, so it, it purposely looks like it doesn't go in all the way. And I kind of hate that a lot. Uh, I don't know why they would design it that way. Um, so with the USB BC here, uh, looking at that. Okay. So now what they did is now the plug here is on an angle. So it's only right there. So when you plug that USB-C plug in, it's on, it's going to go all the way in, and it's going to look that way. That's going to be nice. So, like, that. That looks great. Uh, wait a minute. No, it's still doing it. Nope, it's still doing it. Wow still not looking like it goes in all the way well that's disappointing but it did recognize it um i do i do like how uh i didn't point this out before the light came on but as you can see it is turned on and my computer's recognizing it um i do like how the xbox logo was black to start with without the light instead of well i mean so i i guess it depends on the color of the controller but for this one since the controller itself isn't black uh, I liked how the Xbox logo was black at the bottom, and then the actual color that I picked was layered over the top for the X there. Uh, this one this one works because the whole controller is black, and that Xbox logo is gray. Um, so I suppose if I had gone with a black controller, like a boring basic bitch, I wouldn't have liked the black Xbox controller because it would or the logo because it would have blended in too much. But I, I do like that it's mostly black when I have a bright colored controller. And maybe they flip it, and that would be cool. Um, but I just wanted to point that out. So um, it works here. I wonder if it needed to install anything or... I think it's good. Um, so yeah, awesome. Um, for PC games, uh, I actually usually play them plugged in instead of going through Bluetooth or anything. Uh, that's just how I'm used to playing. I normally just sit right in front of the computer anyway, so it doesn't make too much sense to me to have it wireless. Um, and with wired, I avoid like input lag and some things and it just feeds directly in. So I, I kind of prefer it this way. So it's, it's cool that it works. I am looking forward to busting this in. Um, and I wanted to show you my official controller design here and it's very fun. I like it a lot. Um, it, it would be awesome if like more companies had a feature like this, but to, to my knowledge, Xbox is the only one, um, unless you're going for like really custom controllers or like other uh, brands or companies, obviously, but like my point is Nintendo or Sony don't have an option like this and that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not committing to, uh, getting an actual Xbox just yet, but I, I will admit that I do, do like their controllers and as long as they continue to not drift, I will continue to like their controllers, um, until the other companies get their shit together. But yeah, that is the Sajin controller. I am Sajin, and I will see you guys around. Hope you have a good one. Bye.